guys, Lyra here. So today I'm just making this video as kind of like a thought of the day, you know? Have you guys ever experienced the feeling where you feel like something is just missing? Like that you just feel empty? You feel like there should be more to living, but you're not experiencing it and you just don't know why? Like, it's kind of like you're living each day aimlessly. It's just kind of like you're floating through life and you're just responding to whatever life shows up on the table in front of you, right? Like, do you know what I mean? I am making that video for you if you can relate to this feeling because I experienced this feeling throughout all of my teenage years and my early 20s. I was just aimlessly experiencing life and I didn't have any direction. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't have a purpose. I just didn't know. And because of that, I felt really empty inside. And I felt, I was actually kind of depressed because I was like, well, what is the point of living? Like this is so bunk. And it caused me to engage in all kinds of toxic behaviors and you know invite things in my life that didn't benefit me at all so i'm going to give you kind of the steps that i had to figure out by myself and i'm just going to tell you what i did in order to in order for you to never feel that empty void feeling again the first thing that you that i started doing was i started spending a lot of time by myself okay no distractions didn't watch TV all day. I literally just sat by myself with a pen and paper and I got to know myself. If you're the type of person that does hates being alone and always needs stimulation, needs to be on YouTube or needs to be with other people, talking to other people, it means that you don't find yourself interesting and you actually think you're boring. Okay? And I'm not saying that to put you down or anything. I'm just saying that is because that's what I realized about myself is that wow I'm actually don't think I'm an interesting person and that's why I'm going to entertain myself with TV or trying to you know get entertainment from other people in my life so once you sit down with a pen and paper and you're it's just you yourself and you <laughs> You will start to to get to know yourself and I'm not not this might not be for everyone journaling but you could just even just sit down and contemplate and reflect, okay? And start thinking about things that are important to you, things that you care about, right? Start there. And then start thinking about why do you care about what you care about, right? Start asking those type of questions. What is important to me? Why is it important to me? And then you'll really start to understand who you are. Make it a routine to sit down by yourself, get to know yourself and your values and your thought processes. You'll start to see patterns that will start to emerge. And you'll start to notice that certain ideas and concepts will recur and you'll notice that you're very drawn to them and very attracted to them. Maybe even memories from your childhood will come up and there will be certain ideas from those memories that will really just, you'll just be really drawn to them. That, whatever you're really drawn to, that is your white rabbit, okay? That is what you need to actually pursue and follow. Don't think about where it's going to take you, just follow it. And it will take you exactly where you need to be. Don't think about how. It will all just work out. I will just give you an example so that you totally just know what I'm talking about. You have to realize what your theme for life is. That's a very core part of your identity and you should try to make it a very core part of your life's work and your reason for why you feel you're here, right? Why are you here? Did you ever ask yourself that question? So I realized a very recurring theme that would always come up in my journals and it was mystery and it was magic. And as a child, I, I was a very avid believer in magic. I believed in unicorns. I thought a unicorn would come out of the wall and save me. Very attracted to fantasy books. 
Harry Potter, the Golden Compass, you know, all these fantasy world type of things. Very interested in mystery, very interested in people. People are so fascinating and mysterious, so eccentric, so, so surprising, so shocking, all of it. I kept seeing these themes come up. I realized that my theme in life was trying to chase mystery. That is what I had been doing my whole life, even as a child, trying to chase mystery. Okay, so that is the whole reason why I started YouTube, was because I wanted to discuss things that I found fascinating and mysterious, and I wanted to just immerse myself in that feeling of pursuing what had always drawn me as a child and as an adult. Just pursuing it and then discussing it and sharing my chase with all of you, right? That is the way that I live out my theme in life. So do you have a theme in life? What do you think it is? You might not even be able to like remotely compare mine to yours. Yours could be completely different. It could be like finance. I know, I know I read one article where this lady, like she was always interested in money. Okay, the markets, economy. I know I have a lot of friends that are into political science. It just fascinates them. What is your theme? And if you don't know, don't be afraid to sit down alone and figure it out because it will be the best thing that you will ever do for yourself. Okay guys, hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.